Hey everyone, welcome to another video in my desktop to web series where I teach you how to take your desktop skills to the web with Angular. Today's topic is all about responding to user interaction with events. That's right, every app you've probably ever had to write in your lifetime had to respond to some type of user interaction one way or another. The most common way to do that is with some type of event system. In WPF, we had routed events, we have CLR events, we have commands. We have all these different ways of handling user interaction. What do we have in Angular? In Angular, we have DOM events. So how do we handle or create event handlers for DOM events inside of an Angular application? Well, let's find out. Roll the intro. To help us better understand how events work in Angular, I'm going to start by creating a very simple UI that I can use to respond to some type of user interaction. In this case, I'm going to create a simple button and set the text to click me. When this button is clicked, I want to display some type of message to the user. So I'm going to use interpolation to data bind to a message property. This also means I need to define this property in our component class. I'm going to set it to an empty string for now. The next step is to actually respond to the click event of this button so I can display a message to my user. In this case, we're going to use what's called an event binding. The syntax for an event binding is an open and closed parentheses. And within those parentheses, we're going to provide the name of the DOM event in which we want to respond to. In this case, it's a click event. Next, I'm going to provide what's called a template statement. This is the name of the method that I want to execute when this method is invoked. I will call it on clicked. This also means we need to define this on clicked method in our component class. And when this method gets invoked, we're going to set this dot message equal to hello world. We'll save this and run our application. We can see that our button has been defined. We're going to click the button and we can see our message hello world is displayed to us. Perfect, works exactly like it should. In WPF, when we use events, we're used to getting information about that event, such as the sender or any event args. Well, in Angular, we can use what's called the event variable. This variable will provide information to us about the event that was invoked. So let's go ahead and update our onClicked definition to accept that event. And I'm going to log the event information to our console. I'm going to save and run the application. Now to view the console in our browser, I'm going to open up the development tools. To do that, I'm going to press F12. When I press F12, I'm going to make sure I select the console tab. Now, when I click the click me button, not only will we see the hello world message displayed, but now we're going to see the event that was invoked that we logged to the console. In this case, it's a mouse event. And we can expand this mouse event to get more information about the properties of this event, such as the type, in this case, click. Now, let's be honest, passing the entire event object to your method is probably not very useful. What's more common is to say you have another element in your view, such as an input, and you would like information from this input to pass into your method to do some type of logic with. So let's go ahead and enable that scenario by providing a template reference variable to this input. We'll do that by typing a hashtag and typing my title. What this allows us to do is access that element in our event handler. So I can pass my title to our on clicked event and get information from that element. Let's go ahead and run our application. I'm going to just type some text in here and hit click me. And you can see that the input element is now being passed as an object to our method. Well, that may not be very useful either. Instead, I may want just the value of this title. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that, run the application again. Now I'm going to type Brian Lagunas. We'll say click me. We can see our hello world here, but look at what's being logged. We're actually passing the value of this input. So now I can come into my on clicked definition and just set this to the event value. Go in here, type Brian Lagunas, type click me. And now we are properly passing the information from the input to our message property in our component class. Now, another way we could have done this is instead of waiting on a button click event, we can update the message every time we type into the input box. To do that, we can add an event binding to the key up event, and we'll use the same method. On clicked, and we'll pass in 
mytitle.value. We'll save and run the application. Now, every time I type, we are updating our message. Let's say that we don't want to update our message every time we type in the input, but if we hit the enter key, we would like to update the message. Well, in this case, we can use the key up dot enter pseudo event. So when only the enter key is pressed, then we'll invoke the on clicked event. Let's run the application. So now I'll type Brian Lagunas. As you can see, we are no longer updating the message on every key press, but instead only when I hit the enter key. As you can see, creating an event binding in Angular is super easy. Not only is it extremely flexible, but it makes responding to user interaction a breeze. Now that we got that out of the way, it's time. That's right. It is time to announce the winner from last week's video for the one year subscription to Infragistics Ultimate. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to tell you who the winner is right now. Well, not now, now, but now. That was later, and I'm not talking about now, or no, I'm talking about now. You ready? Right now? Okay, now, Carl Newman, you are the man. Congratulations, you are the winner, my friend. I will be contacting you very shortly on how to claim your license. If you'd like a chance at winning a one-year subscription to Infragistics Ultimate or $2,000, while at the same time learning to take your desktop skills to the web with Angular, subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment below, and I'll announce another winner in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.